During week six and seven, students will learn the field training portion of the recruit training cycle. Although the field exercises are a welcome relief from the classroom atmosphere, the days are long and the training is intense and is given in the same setting as the recruits receive. During the whole two-day portion at Page Field, it's very intense. We give them a feeling of how the recruits will feel, plus we try and motivate them at the same time. We're going to push them in ways they haven't been pushed before, ways that staff sergeant isn't normally used to being pushed. We're going to push them that way so they know how to go out and push recruits in the same way. At event three, they go through an obstacle course where they have to work as a fire team and get each other through, carrying a 100-pound dummy. And they also go through another series of martial arts training events at event three. Event four will test the students in ways they've never been tested before. They will break down the fire teams and they will conduct the course as a fire team. There's the uh, bayonet assault course. There's a movement course where they will low crawl high crawl and also back crawl, and there are also a series of walls and logs that they need to negotiate. Each Marine trying to motivate and get the other Marine through it. They will start as a team, then they will finish as a team. The whole course is over a half mile in length. Later on that day, we take them over to the repel tower and we repel off a 50-foot tower. After that, we will fast rope. After a long, tiring day, they'll go to the gas chamber and they'll execute every obstacle inside the gas chamber, same way that the recruits would. After the students complete the BWT portion of DI school, they're very motivated. They have some of the same similar feelings that the recruits have after they get through completing the crucible. They feel like they've been through quite a bit, but at the same time, they stuck through it together and teamwork got them through it. 